myelocentric breast stimulation. Very similar to what we just did a little bit ago with the non monoisocentric You, the only difference, the difference being is once you have your isocenter set here, you're not going to move this patient again. Once again, your wide jaw, the superior jaw, the Y2 will be open, Y1 will be closed. Okay, Y1's closed. We will kind of set where we want this to be. We're going to assume the gantry's tipped over. It doesn't really matter. The field is going to look exactly the same. You have a non-diverging inferior edge of the AP superclav. That's great. That slices right down through the body following that laser line right there. That's exactly what's going to happen. There's no divergence. So, monoisocentric makes it really easy. All we have to do next is open Y1 and close Y2 once we have this AP superclass simulated. All of the irregular simulation protocols are in place for this. Well, once you've got that simulated, all you do is open the inferior aspect of the beam so Y1 now opens, Y2 closes. Now look here, there's our match line. It's naturally non-divergent. You don't have to kick the table, you don't have to move your patient, you don't have to do anything. You have that same flat knife edge is butt up against itself. You open the field size to this aspect. Now you just rotate your gantry over until you have a very similar thing happening. You don't you won't have your CR at the medial. That's the only difference. Your CR will run through the medial and we'll probably see a back pointer. Okay, I didn't have this ball parked very well. Ah, with my back pointer that's not going to work. So you're gonna have to do something slightly different. But know this: when you rotate over, no divergence. Inferior aspect is open. You're gonna have flash out here. This breast is essentially going to look the same. You're just going to have a lot more divergence out here at the inferior aspect because the field size is open more. This only works for a 20 centimeter long field or shorter. If you've got a big field, you're not going to be able to do this because you've only got 20 centimeters to work with from naturally a 40 by 40. So you're still going to simulate this pretty much the same way. Your CR is going to be up here. Your actual CR is going to be up here. but you have this aspect down here that you're working with. So that's what it's going to end up looking like. Now, from facility to facility, what you actually do to achieve your three-point setup can be slightly different. But you're going to end up at the end of this with a three-point setup down here, but you're starting up here with your um, CR and you never move your patient. That's the biggest difference. That's what you guys should already remember from a monoisocentric setup when you treat it. This is just a way to show you the first part of that simulation. So, the next video we will talk about junction shifts.